What's going on, everybody on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming to you live from my bedroom, and uh, yeah, I got a little chest hair showing right now. I'm proud to show it. Uh, in any event, in today's video, I want to talk about, real quick before I go to bed because I'm pretty exhausted, I want to talk about the importance of showing up, right? Because I see so many times people, they kind of like let their mindset control them, right? They want to go to the gym, they want to work out, but they dwell on like, you know, how hard it's going to be, you know, maybe in their mind to lift the weights and, uh, you know, to get in there and be seen by all these people who they feel uncomfortable with because maybe they're 40 or 50 pounds overweight. So they're like, they're just dwelling on this fact and they just don't go to the gym and like, they just never show up. The same with like maybe someone who wants to write a book. They know they need to sit down in front of the computer and just get started or they need to go to the library or they need to, you know, get someplace that isn't distracted and just start writing, but they never show up to the game, right? They never show up. They never show up to the library. They never show up to the gym. And this isn't about like putting people down because I do this all the time. But the one thing that I realized today, as I actually went to the library, cause I'm working on a book is if you just show up, like if you just go and just show up, the rest takes care of itself. Like when's the last time you've ever gone to the gym and like, didn't work out like whoever just goes to the gym and like, you know, after three or four minutes says to themselves, like, eh, I'm just going to leave. Like, it doesn't work that way. If you actually, like, go to the gym, you're going to work out. If you go to the library, like, you're going to write. You're going to do what you have to do. And there's so many more examples that I could go into and relate to all different aspects of life. Like, the hardest part is just showing up, right? It's just going. Like, maybe you want to learn how to be a better public speaker and maybe there's like a local event that's uh, being held in your area. Like the hardest part is just like saying to yourself, you know what, I'm going to commit this two hours to go in and, you know, I'm going to join the Toastmasters. Like the hardest part is just like trying to mentally like commit to it. But if you show up and you go, like the rest takes care of itself. The same with seminars, the same with the gym. I, I mean, I could go on and on. I'm rambling because I'm super tired right now. But the key is just to show up, guys. Like that's the hard part. So if you really want to make changes in your life, if you really want to endure high levels of success, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be the fastest, the best. But what you do have to do, which will separate you from the herd, from the rest of the crowd, is just show up. Just go. Just just take that first step and the rest will take care of itself. So show up to the game. Take the bat off your shoulder. Step up to the plate and just swing because you never know what's going to happen. So anyways, guys, I got to get to bed. As you can see, I got bags under my eyes. I'm super exhausted, but I uh, just want to touch base with you guys and send you a positive message and uh, hopefully you enjoyed. So until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.